Dear students, hope you all are well. So let's start class with a thought. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Yes, education is the key to eliminate all problems. If you want to grow and be successful, then you need to be educated. Okay? So let's start class for third subject social studies lesson a beautiful country. You can see here some pictures. These all pictures are from our country. India is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. It has many landforms. Some places have flat land. At some places the land is made up of rocks. At other places it is covered with sand. Let us read about these diverse landforms. Here you can see five kinds of landforms. Mountains and hills, plains, plateaus, deserts and islands. We'll see first hills and mountains. A high land with a round top is called a hill. The Vindhya ranges in central India and the Nilgiri hills in south India are examples of hills. Very high hills with sharp tops means peaks are called mountains. The Himalayan mountain ranges lie in the north. There are many peaks in these mountains. Most of them remain covered with snow in the mountain ranges. It is cold throughout the year. Mount Everest on the Nepal-China border is the highest peak in the Himalayan mountain ranges as well as in the world. Many rivers such as the Ganga, Yamuna, Satluj and Brahmaputra originate in these mountains and flow down to the plains. These rivers are formed by the melting snow. Now we will see next plains. Flat and level land is called a plain. To the south of the Himalayas lie the great plains of India. In the plains, summers are hot and the winters are cold. Rivers such as the Ganga and the Yamuna flow through these plains. These rivers have made up of soil fertile. As the result, many crops are grown here. There is a narrow strip of the flat land along the eastern and the western coastal of India. It is known as the eastern coastal plains and the western coastal plains respectively. These plains meet at Kanyakumari. Rivers such as the Narmada, Tapi, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri flow through these plains and fall down into sea. The coastal areas are neither very hot nor very cold. Next point, plateaus. A high land with a steep sides and a flat top is called a plateau. The southern part of India is a plateau. The southern plateau is called the Deccan Plateau. It covers the largest area of our country. The region is surrounded by hill ranges. On three sides it has an uneven surface. It is less fertile than the plains. There are many rivers in the Deccan Plateau. They depend on the rain for water. Some parts of the plateau are covered with thick forests. The southern part of India is surrounded by water bodies on three sides. 
this type of land is called a peninsula you can see here the southern part of india is surrounded by water bodies on three sides this type of land is called a peninsula can you identify or can you tell me which three water bodies surrounded yes the bay of bengal arabian sea and indian ocean next point is deserts a large area of land covered with sand is called a desert in the northwestern part of india lies the indian desert also called the thar desert it covers a large part of rajasthan this area is hot and dry it gets very little rainfall very few plants and trees grow here next point islands yes it is very beautiful landform on the earth a piece of land surrounded by water on all sides is called an island there are two groups of islands in our country first one is the andaman and nicobar islands lie on the eastern side in the bay of bengal in the first picture that is the andaman and nicobar islands second the lakshadweep islands lie on the western side in the arabian sea which is shown in the next picture i hope all are understood the lesson thank you so much